Hi! Welcome back! In a previous video, we learned about seaborne categorical plots. These are the topics that we covered in that video. If you haven't watched it yet or are interested in learning more about these concepts, I'd suggest you check out that video as well. In this video, we're going to be exploring seaborne distribution plots. We'll learn about um, dist plot, joint plot, and pair plot. Let's jump right in. So the first thing that we're going to do is import Seaborn as SNS, and we're going to um, insert the matplotlib inline line to ensure that we can see the plots um, in Jupyter Notebook after our commands. Um, then, just like the previous videos, we're going to have tip equals sns.loadDataset, and then we're going to insert this tips. Um, and we're going to see the head, so the first five rows of it. Um, and basically, uh, this is a data set that allows us to predict tip based on a bunch of features, as you can see here. So we're going to create a dist plot, which shows a distribution of one variable set. So um, that's why we have to specify total bill. Um, and so this kind of shows the frequency, the relative frequency of each one. So we can see that overall it's a little bit less than $20 for um, most of the total bills. Um, and so we can also kind of customize this a little more by um, taking out the line of best fit. Uh, and we can also add more bins and things like that. So this one, the general layout is the same, except um, after this, we can say KDE equals false, which takes out the line of best fit. Um, and then we can say bins equals 30, and this will just give a lot more bins, and it'll show us um, a little more specificity in this graph. So we can see, yeah, overall, it's um, around maybe 17, 18, um, around that, that um, range. Um, so now let's look at joint plot. So joint plot allows you to basically match up two dist plots for bivariate data. Um, and you can kind of choose what kind of parameter to compare it with. So here we're going to do X um, equals total bill versus Y equals tip. So um, we're comparing these two. Um, and our data is tip and the kind is reg. So that means that the middle graph is going to be a linear regression model. Um, and then the two ones on the side are just going to be these dist plots. Um, and so what this will do is it'll show you kind of three plots in the same canvas and allow you to view the frequencies for each one and if they're related linearly or not. Um, so the last one we're going to look at is pair plot. And this one basically allows you to view a bunch of different graphs um, comparing all of the uh, ca quantitative variables in your data set. Um, so pair plot will plot pairwise relationships across an entire data frame um, for the numerical columns. And it also supports a hue argument for categorical col columns. Um, and so it's just a simple line, sns.pairplot, and then tip inside. And it's going to output um, kind of all of the category uh, quantitative variables compared with each other. Um, so we can kind of see total bill versus tip, um, tip versus size, uh, total bill versus size, um, and etc. And then the ones uh, diagonally going through the middle um, are the dist plots, and it kind of shows the frequency of each one. So it's a helpful way for us to show um, a bunch of charts without having to individually do each one. So now just to recap, um, we viewed a couple distribution plots to view the relative frequency, and then a joint plot to view bivariate data, and this pair plot to view a bunch of graphs for all the data. Well, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like and comment down below any questions you may have. I've also included a little activity in the description box that relates to the skills we learned in this video, so I welcome you to try that out as well. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that'll help you on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.